Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, Kelly Mack. Once again, we are backstage at 106.7 WTLC, and today with actor and comedian Joe Torrey. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you doing, Kelly? Doing great. So recently I said Joe Torre, and somebody was <laughs> like, stop making him sound bougie because he's not. <laughs> No, I can't be bushy. Oh, you can you know be bushy. Saying? I can be a little bushy. You can't be bushy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got to put it out. You, tomorrow I'm going to be a little bushy. Okay, how yeah, so? Because I'm going to have on my, my sear suit. Okay. My sucker suits. and be sundresses around. So, uh -huh. that, you know, that you got to be a little bougie. Right. I got to get my little, you know, my little hat to go with it. Uh-huh. I've been putting my outfit together. So, gotcha. you know, so, Are we so. wearing sandals? No, 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 gators. no, 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 no. I, I got some nice, some, um, I can't, I can't give away my, my shoe game. Oh, You know what I'm okay. saying? But I'm not wearing no gators. Not you know no Stacey saying? Adams no. either, right? No Stacey no. Adams. Okay. <laughs> you can't do hard, shiny shoes with a sear suit. Right. Get something soft. Soft. Something, you know, with some, with some, some texture to it. Gotcha. There you go, like okay. that. Some weave. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, okay. You, you know, you, you, look at you, you know how to put it together. Look I at you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what I'm going to wear to the event. Oh, wow. I know, right? No, so you, well, you had just a plethora of sundresses, so you don't know which one to pick out. Actually, I got rid of so many of my sundresses when I moved back to the Midwest, so I have to start from scratch. So today, we got to go shopping for sundresses. Uh-huh. Okay, we oh, got to do gonna that. Oh, you going to take me shopping? Let's get, what, what, what time oh, you get off? Let's go. see this. See that? <laughs> take you, get you a sundress for That's tomorrow. 6 o'clock. <laughs> 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to tomorrow, 6 o'clock, to get you a sundress. Okay, 24 hours. 24 hours. We're going to match. We're on the clock. We're going to match. I don't know. You, you, yeah, yeah. We hosting together. <laughs> right. So right, we might right. as well match. Okay. So, okay. you know, I sh I'll show you what I have. Uh huh. And you, you can go off of that. Okay. And of course, we're talking about the Seersucker and Sundress Summer Soiree mm -hmm. uh, going on Saturday, which will be June 3rd. And this is a benefit for Omega Sci Fi uh, Fraternity. And you are a part of the Q Dogs, Purple yes, and I Gold. Am. Yes, I am. And what year did you pledge? Oh, uh, 85. I've been like going on 30, what, 33? It's two years. Is really? it 32? 33? I don't know. 85. It's been so long ago. Yeah. I stopped counting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's about 32 years. Yeah. What school? <laughs> uh, Lincoln University, Jeff City, Missouri. Okay. Eight Sigma chapter. I'm a douche dog. Uh-huh. You know, my name was Comma Kill. Right, right. You know, so I'm living true to who I do. Comma Kill. Comma like, Kill. Like com Comma Kill. Okay, got, got comma Kill, like comical. Yeah. But Comma Kill. Okay. Because we're cute dogs. Comma Kill. Okay. Got it. Omega got Man it. is, you know, is, is, the, is the correct right, speech, right, right. You know, and, language. And you know, a lot of women, they say never date a cute dog. Why For is real? that? Yes. Um, well, maybe they should never date them. Uh -huh. But they, they didn't say you didn't, you could marry them maybe and you could probably, you know, you could be friends with them. Oh. You know, but maybe, you know, maybe some of them you can't date. Ah. You know what I'm saying? But there's, you got to read the fine print. Uh huh. Read the fine print. Okay. You know the fine print. I will have to find the the fine print. There you go. All right, so um, Joe Torrey, of course, when I look at you, all I can think of is Chicago oh, there we from go. Poetic Justice. Yeah. 1991 or 92 was that? that? Was, I think that was 92, 93. Yeah, somewhere like in that, that. era. So somewhere, in that, some, somewhere in that era. So no, you I got think, a uh, chance to work with two of the greatest J well, uh, well, Janet yeah. Jackson and yeah. Tupac. And, and, and let's not forget Regina King. Well, of course. Two-time Emmy winner, so three of the greatest. Yes. Of all time, and uh, and and you know, it's funny because I uh, I'm just you know I was just thinking about it the other day, uh, so many people in the movie that I met. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Tupac movie's coming out. Right. I've been a uh, consultant on it for the last eight years. Okay. So and it's great. It's a it's a fabulous piece of uh you know film that's you know it's going to re really come out. Mm -hmm. and, and um. Now and did it, you know Tupac um outside of just Poetic Justice? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't meet him until Poetic Justice. Uh huh. But y'all um, were friends after. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I like gotcha. big brother. So yeah, we stay we stay real tight. Okay. I was like big brother to him. I said him some put some money on his books and you know when he really got locked down. Uh huh. Um, but um, yeah, he was you know I, I you know I. A lot of stories about Tupac mm -hmm. that uh, you know that I can tell, and people always want to know, uh -huh. and that's why they kind of you know asked me you know to be a consultant because so many people didn't know him, mm -hmm. and they wanted to tell the right story. But uh, also, Mangelo was in in in, in the uh, film as well. Wow! And um, I got a chance to you know to meet her and speak with her, and I talk about it in my jokes how you know I, I you know I met some of these famous people, but I got cussed out by them. right. You know, so Angelou, who cussed you out? Mangelo cussed no, me out. No, she didn't. That's a Christian woman. They well, don't curse. Well, she ain't cussed me out, but she <laughs> checked me in front of Janet. Oh my God! Oh, really? Yeah, man. The Jim Browns cussed me out. You know what I'm saying? Jim Brown. Uh -huh. it, that's what meet these legends, and they, but they are stern. And they don't care. And I'm like, you know, and I loved it. Uh -huh. You know, I think back, <laughs> back at it, I loved it. I'm like, you know, I got cussed out or I got reprimanded by some legends. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I, and I, I tell those stories sometimes. But, you know, they're, uh, when you talk about that movie, it was so many beautiful people in it. Um, from Regina, yeah, that's still doing her thing now. We're still good friends, and to know my Angelo and Tupac. Right. So. Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, my An Angelo and Tupac have since passed on. Yeah. And um, I think it's June sixteenth is his birthday and yeah. the release of his biopic. Yeah. So, what would be like three things you could tell us about Pac that we typically wouldn't know? 
Oh man, um, that he, you know, he as um, one the ride or die. Tupac just he he didn't he didn't really care mm -hmm. as far as his 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 attitude wasn't against you. If, if he's just with you, he just rode with you. And a lot of people didn't know he was fighting a lot of wars mm -hmm. that he wasn't even in. Okay. Um, but um, but as far as uh, as as a true artist, he all, he just wanted to work. Mm -hmm. As a lot of people didn't, if you didn't know, it, he just wanted to stay in the studio and write, mm -hmm. stay in the hotel room and write. Right. He didn't really care about partying and doing none of that. That's why he had so much work out there. Mm -hmm. So he was true to a game, and he and and he was trying to change his image. He wanted to become the greatest actor out there, mm -hmm. and a lot of people didn't know that. But he was wow. changing his old image, you know, wearing suits mm -hmm. and you know putting on and taking on different roles. And he was really trying to get an Oscar. He wanted an Oscar, and um, you know people didn't know he was. You know, if you've seen his last work he was kind of you know graduating toward that so. mm -hmm. okay okay good stuff did you know his mom um no i met his mom like <laughs> once or twice okay um and I, I was hoping to meet her uh, again before the film but she died two weeks before she was supposed to see the film i know i but, remember that yeah but uh but it the film you trust me she she heard good things about it. that's why she wanted to see it mm -hmm. but it is it's gonna do a proud they do her very well in the movie good. Yeah, so you saw uh, the whole thing yeah yeah i saw it okay. i saw it when, like three hours long okay. I, I was giving them okay you take that out right. but, you, but you don't really know it because it's like a it's, it's such a it's like a concert and a movie going on mm -hmm. at the same time and before you know it it was like two hours 55 minutes and it right. was like wow hmm. and the time flew by but you can't do that in a the theater right, right right so um but the the um the three important things in his life was uh his mother mm -hmm. um jada pinkett right and um and i think her name was kadifa or kalika or what uh, uh quincy jones's daughter okay so they were some you know and you'll see it in a film they were real beings in his life that kind of you know kind of made him always go back to straight now right, right right but they show and i love how they show the strong woman um uh, that his mother was mm -hmm. and you understand how why tupac was the way he was wow uh, wow and who would have thought he was that close with jada uh, well, you I know, mean, from yeah. the movie. From the well, yeah, well, I, and they show you, how, you know, how they got close okay. because, and they, you know, school of arts. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know. You know, Tupac went. You know, he went to a vision of performing arts school. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you, some of us out here, they may be crazy, but Cat Williams mm -hmm. and you uh, know, you know, uh, 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 Eddie Griffin, you know, Master P, they right. all went to. F performing art schools, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So you know, he, people ain't that far from crazy right. from being a genius. Okay. And you know, two part just you know he just w went that line, but uh, you'll see it in the movie. And I like how they uh, how they attack his youth and how they show how he, you know he uh, you know he found his talent mm -hmm. through through uh, through the arts. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. All right, so let's get back to Joe. Yeah, Torrey, let's get back to Joe Torre. AKA Joe Torre. Yeah, 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 man. Let's talk about me. All right, so um, when it, I remember the movie Sprung with uh -oh. uh, Tisha Campbell. <laughs> I can't even tell oh you God. on TV my favorite scene in the movie. Oh my God, that 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 movie right there. It is so many memes and. I don't know, so many websites of just me in them in them draws. Yeah. What was your name in it? Apollo? What was Clyde. Clyde, 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 right. Clyde. <laughs> I get so much and, and those from I say Poetic Justice and um In Sprung. Sprung. Mm -hmm. When people see me it's the most you know, responses that they say, you know, <laughs> leave that, you know, leave that girl, you know, leave her on the side of the road right. and they say something, you know, or or they'll do something like, girl, you know you want these nuts or they'll do that. You know. <laughs> they'll you know, say that or Clyde and somebody has it. And um and, and it's funny, you know, um and two, I didn't know it was so many different things in there, but uh -huh. some of the stuff is kinda I don't like because they just got the, the, a whole website full of just me in the underwear. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, right, really? right. <laughs> really? Yeah, I remember the bank receipt, the uh, ATM receipt. <laughs> See, now, and that's the one. Scam. People love that. People love that. And people use it. Yeah, you brought light at to least, the game, like real talk. <laughs> I, I, at least 300 people told me they used that. Yeah. And since that movie's been out. Mm -hmm, I'm I, sure. I used, that, I, used, I used that the other day. Somebody, <laughs> somebody told me that a couple weeks ago. I'm like, really? Hilarious. And I've never used that. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you played the role well. Hey, hey, it worked well. Rusty, good, big up to Rusty Condor who wrote that film. Yes. He wrote Tales in the Hood, too. Okay, with, okay. We just had his uh, 25th or something, 20th anniversary. Okay. It's on Blu ray now. Nice. Yeah, nice. That's another film that people are like, man, I was a kid. That film scared you. Remember that? I do. People, they, that scared me. That film scared me. I was like, really? It didn't scare me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you've been touring. You're still doing stand up. All Are day, you doing any movies right now or anything we can look for? Yeah, look for The Workout Room. Okay. It's probably uh, either going to be on Netflix or. Or TV One, or one of these outlets mm -hmm. that you know that I may put it on. It's a great film, PG thirteen. Gotcha. Um, I helped produce it with a couple of frat brothers and and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, and we shot it last year. Tammy Townsend, Brother Man, Little JJ, okay. uh, Tori Hart, 
Um, Scruncho, the late great Ricky Harris has a cameo in it, and okay. a lot of new up and f- funny comedians that you know and uh, you've heard of okay. that are in the film. So, mm-hmm. I, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, you know, I've been producing producing films, and that was the first one uh, comedy that I did called The Workout Room. Gotcha. And it's a father daughter relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about you know these comics trying to make it out this little comedy club. Mm-hmm. It's called The Workout Room. They go by to work it out. It's owned by Tammy Tammy Townsend, uh, and um, and she has a big job for me, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and my biggest day is my daughter's biggest day. Gotcha. My wife is dead. She's about to get married, and I either got to go on stage and perform for, you know, uh, for a big contract or miss the wedding. And you know, in the whole film, I'm lying, talking about I'm gonna be there, and she knows it. Right. So it's a, it's a it's a fun feel film. Okay. When when can we expect to see it? Um, probably the next couple couple months. Okay. Yeah. We okay. Just, we're finishing um coloring it right now, getting the sound right, and um, so we should be finishing next month now. Mm-hmm. But we, we shot it, and that should be up, and then. Then I take a turn to a whole other character. Okay. Where I play like a serial rapist. Oh. Yeah, so it's Oh, a, I don't yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not at all. It's I just know. a film, right? It's just a, it's just okay. a film. All but, right. Uh, but yeah, but that's that's a twist, you know. Um I, I don't want to give the name away of the film yet. Okay. Um but um but it's 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 off of a real character. Um, actually, you, you know the character. Not the one you don't out know of Cleveland. Him, the one out of Cleveland. Oh yeah. lord. <laughs> so, yeah. I, you know, I was wondering when somebody was going to make a movie about that. And so it's it's in the works. So oh. that's why you see me losing weight, getting in shape. I'm gotta. Yeah. You know, so uh, I mean, I I kind of stay in shape, but I'm in yeah. on the grind because you know this. You know, I want to bring something. You know, interesting and new to this character to right. bring him to life. Mm-hmm. I mean, because he was, you know, he was a nice guy. So you so, thought. So you thought, yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, so it's a good time. And for you know that, that Mickey Ficky used to live right around the corner from where me and my son lived when we lived in Cleveland. Wow. Yeah, like when I saw where he was over off a of Union, I was like, oh my god. So you could have been one of the eleven in the neighborhood. Um, I doubt was, that. You know what I mean? Because he got everybody from the neighborhood. You know that. Yeah. So. Well, no, he wouldn't have got me. Mm, that's good. Mm-mm. Yeah, he wouldn't have took your groceries to the car. or... You know, help me. <laughs> I, I used to be a little thug, believe it or not. Okay. I'm reform ratchet. I got you. Yeah, and um, yeah. So, needless to say. <laughs> so yeah. So we're, no, we're, we're we're looking to you know we're looking to I'm looking to to do that. Now uh-huh. I may join forces with John Singleton to do it because we're looking to see if we can get Holly and get okay. you know get Holly Berry and get you know Monique and get oh, some people. Oh, okay. You're gonna Robert do all Davis. that. Good. Yeah. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It's if big film, or we're gonna make it uh, a uh, miniseries. All right. So. Once again, Joe Tory and Andy tomorrow, uh, as in June 3rd. If you're watching this after the fact, we're sorry if you missed it, but hey. it's the seersucker and summer dress. Yes. Summer soiree. You got it. Sir suit, sundress, All sandals. Bad. All these S's, okay? <laughs> Sexiness. <laughs> Five things before you go that we typically wouldn't know about Joe Torrey. Number one, guilty pleasure. Um, chocolate. Okay. Mm. Cabs or the Warriors? Oh, man. <laughs> you got to think. I see you got the L.A. on your shirt. but Clippers. <laughs> okay, we're talking about the Cavs and the Warriors in the finals for the trilogy. Who I think is going to win? No, who do you want to win? Um, I, I don't really, I don't care. Okay. Yeah, because I love both teams. Okay, so who do you think is going to win? Um, I think Golden State's going to win. Okay. But, but, you know, after, after, the, after last night, yeah, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, LeBron, that was, but, but no, but I, I have faith in LeBron. That was the appetizer last night. That's yeah. just to get you started. Exactly. Yeah, get everybody's yeah. excitement rolling. Okay. Single, boot up, married? Married. Okay. How many kids? Three. Three. The one thing that you want to do in life that you haven't done yet, but you're like, before I get up out of here, I'm going to do what? Create a lot of jobs ah. for people um, from the Midwest all the way back. Very nice. Yeah. Love it. Joe Torrey, thank you for stopping by backstage 106.7 WTLC. Thank you. Who? No doubt. <laughs>